So you're going to take cod, eh? Uh-huh. Well, what for dessert, Dodson? I never eat sweets. The funny thing, you know, it's very bad for the waistline. I often thought I'd like to go and try cake cod. I think I'll have a uh, cake. Oh, chocolate. Uh, oh, two nickels. Yeah, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Allow me. Here. Yeah, oh, no, 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 it's my treat. Thank you. Say, what kind of a place is Hawk Lake? Hawk Lake? Well, it's a little bit off the beaten path up there in the lake country, you know. No telephones, no roads, no people. Uh, oh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? No people, imagine. <laughs> Sounds kind of bleak to me. Well, it is. Oh, not bleak. Oh, no. I always think that Hawk Lake is a wonderful place for a vacation. Uh, look, uh, I'm not on my vacation, and if I was, I wouldn't want to spend it here. Wouldn't you? Well, uh, oh, oh, excuse me, you're blocking the way here. <laughs> you have to pardon me, but whenever I get talking about Hawk Lake, I go all to pieces. Well, save the pieces. Yes. Oh. <laughs> save, save. The... <laughs> oh. I remember one time in an automat, I put in pennies by mistake. What came out? Two Greeks. They made me put in nickels, huh? <laughs> I read that somewhere once. Still on the kitchen, eh? Oh. And here we are, Mr. Gowan. Napkin. Soup. Knife, fork, spoon. Darcy, there's one thing I admire. It's efficiency. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm awfully glad to hear you say that. My, you know, I do envy you people there in the city room. You know, I have a feeling I could write. Right. But you mean reporting? Mm. All you need nowadays is uh, strong lungs, brass, and shoe leather. Oh, really? Oh, I mean the hustle and the bustle. I love excitement. Well, why don't you ask Bill Court to give you a whack at it? Oh, no, no, indeed. No, I'm afraid. You know the leopard in his spots? <laughs> I am an auditor, primarily at heart. And a darn good one, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm afraid Mr. Brown might not agree with that. Well, didn't you um, outsmart him? You really think I did? I thought I did. Now, um, I'd never try to put over a fast one on you, Dodson. Oh, really? Oh, I'm awfully glad to hear you say that, because, frankly, Miss McGowan... Judy. Judy? Uh, Judy. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. <laughs> because you could, you know. Inside of me, there's a weak spot. Well, you know I wouldn't. Well, now, uh, for instance, that uh, Madame Galini account... Oh, I have that account right here. Here it is. Or is it? It is. Oh, swell. Then you can okay it right now. Well, of course I could, Judy. Uh, oh, Miss McGowan. Judy. Were orchids really necessary? Well, the morning blade couldn't go steerage. Oh, not with Madame Galini. I know, but orchids. Well, orchids this time, but next time try carnations. Next time, stand live. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Miss McGowan, 45 cents for a taxi cab from Herald Square. But I had a deadline to make. I know, but if every reporter used a taxi cab just because he was in a hurry by oh, that... Oh, right, oh, right. That's an expenditure. Right. Here's 50 cents. You owe me a nickel. Oh, but this isn't a personal matter. You a reporter? <laughs> Stick to nickel nursing, Dodsey. But this has nothing to do with us. It's my job. And it fits you like a glove. Come on, where's my nickel? Oh. Well, here's a quarter. Have you two dimes? You see... When one is an accountant... He's a bookkeeper, and he watches the petty cash. Yes. No matter how petty it gets. Oh, Julie. Miss McGowan. Well, Lord's a massive, Delilah and her scissors. I thought you were out getting a piece for the paper. One of the other boys took the assignment. Court just got a hot one over the telephone, and we're both on it. He wants us right away. I was just leaving. And I got another little piece of news for you. Our vacation is postponed a month. We're not going to Cape Cod? Nope. Court's orders. Come on, get going. Excuse us. Yeah. <laughs> From you to me, thanks. 